what the New York Times said they are teaching black kids to do to white kids because of Trump will make you sick by Cat Stevens for FreedomDaily.com. They've gone way too far this time. Most of us now have a very firm grasp on how difficult racial issues have become in America today. No matter how much a person wants to bridge the gap, if another person claims they were offended, all, all those efforts were wasted. White privilege and social equality seem to be the mantras of 2017, and it's only getting worse. While the idea of making everyone equal might sound really great, unfortunately, that's not what's happening. In what we hope started out as a sincere campaign to combat ill treatment of African Americans has morphed into an all-out war on Caucasians. The irony isn't lost on most that the treatment that social justice warriors claim to be fighting is the treatment they're handing out. Let's be clear. No one is saying that the treatment of African Americans in this country in the past was right. However, it's also not right to punish this generation of white privilege holders just because you feel the pain of those in your past. But that's just what one law school professor is advocating that we do uh, in his op-ed for the New York Times. Daily Wire's Ben Shapiro republished the piece so that you and I can enjoy a peek into the mind of the conscientious social justice warrior and how they're raising their kids. On Saturday, the New York Times ran yet another excerpable uh, op-ed, this time from uh, Professor Echo Yanka of the Benjamin N. Cardozo School of Law at Yeshiva University. This op-ed argued that black children should not be friends with white children and that their parents ought to warn them of such uh, relationships. This assuredly makes things awkward at Yeshiva University, a Jewish school. I was just going to say, isn't it a Jewish school? The piece begins with Yanka's oldest son, who is four, talking about his friends. My oldest son, wrestling with a four-year-old's happy struggles, is trying to clarify how many people can be his best friend. My best friends are you and Mama and my brother, and but even a child's joy is not immune to this ominous political period. Uh, this summer's image of violence in Charlottesville, Virginia, prompted an array of questions. Some people hate others because they are different. I offer lamely a childish but distinct panic uh, enters his voice, but I'm not different. Uh, it's, it, it is impossible to convey the mixture of heartbreak and fear I feel for him. Donald Trump's election. Yeah, let's get that dig in right here has made it clear that I will teach my boys the lesson, generations old, one that I, for the most part, nearly escaped. I will teach them to be cautious. I will teach them suspicion, and I will teach them distrust. Much sooner than I thought I would, I will have to discuss with my boys whether they can trust, uh, truly be friends with white people. Meaningful friendship is not just a feeling. It is not simply being able to share a beer. Real friendship is impossible without the ability to trust others, without knowing that your well-being is important to them. The desire to create, maintain, or wield power over others destroys the possibility of friendship. The Reverend Doc, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s famous dream of black and white children holding hands was a dream precisely because he realized that in Alabama, conditions of dominance made real friendships between white and black people impossible. As against our gauzy national hopes, I will teach my boys to have profound doubts that friendship with white people is possible. When they ask, I will teach my sons that their beautiful hue is a fault line. Spare me platitudes of how we are all the same on the inside. I first 
have to keep my boys safe and so I will teach them before the world shows them this particular brand of rending, violent, often fatal betrayals. Of course, the rise of this president has broken bonds on all sides, really, says you, not us. But for all people of color, the stakes are different. <laughs> Have you talking to, uh, spoke to some black uh, voters for Trump, really? Uh, it, it's sad that, you know, a professor would speak uh, like this. Imagining we can now be friends across this political line is asking us to ignore our safety and that of our children, to abandon personal regard and self-worth. Is that what Trump is uh, talking about, really? Only white people can uh, cordon off uh, Mr. Trump's political meaning, ignore the unpleasantness from a position of safe, uh, safety. His election and the year that has followed have fixed that, uh, the awful thought in my mind. Too familiar to black Americans. You can't trust these people. I do not write this with liberal condescension or glee my heart is unbearably heavy when i assure you we cannot be friends uh well this is a professor this is what you're spending your money on right shapiro adds his own comments to the professor the condon uh uh excuse me the con dissension is real and the glee is palpable to teach your children not to hope for a day when black and white can be friends. In fact, to teach your children now that such a day isn't here is asinine. I agree. And to pretend that every Trump voter is replete with hatred is just as asinine. But racism and bigotry are fine so long as they come from the left, apparently. Yeah. Once again, we find that every wall this country has begins and ends with both Donald Trump and white people, you see? I mean, really, I agree with Shapiro, yeah. It gives the impression that there's never going to be peace because those who claim to want it are actually stirring up hate. The mantra that the white guilt will never be enough and that African Americans will have to meet out punishment as they see fit is an ideology that will not only lead to more hatred and fear absolutely the roles might end up being reversed but it will still breed fear and with fear comes conflict uh absolutely uh, absolutely in this day and age and he's a professor it's disturbing to say the least uh i i, I can't even understand how he can come out with this yeah, you have to teach the kids to be weary and careful. Yeah, all parents do, whether you're white or black. It doesn't make a difference. I mean, it's absurd in this day and age. And this is what Obama brought on to this country and these uh, uh, nut job Democrats that they're trying to spew. But I got news for you guys. In, this is a capitalistic country. You got talent, you're going to make it. You're good, you're, it, things are going to work out. You're nasty, it's not. Bottom line, let me go, uh, let me let you guys go, and uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the, uh, in the comment section below. And again, uh, thank you so much for watching.